first, Tom, I'm wondering, what do you have in your wallet? And are you real ID compliant? Because that is going to be something very important for Washington and Oregon travelers here in the next year. Tell us why. Well, well, I'll tell you, I have an enhanced driver license, which I'm very glad I got a number of years ago. This will be very valuable for getting on airplanes starting next October. So October 2020, the federal government says no more extensions. You have to have a secure driver's license to get on a domestic flight, basically pass through the TSA checkpoint at Spokane or Seattle or Portland International or any other federal airport checkpoints. This, as you can see on your screen there, is an enhanced driver license from Washington State. The Oregon version doesn't come out till next summer, so there's gonna be a very short amount of time in Oregon to get a compliant document. A regular driver's license from Oregon or Washington will be good for almost everything a license is good for now, except for going into, say, a federal military base starting next year and going through airport security, which is federally controlled. Okay, so it makes us wonder, Tom, or at least it makes me wonder, why have Washington and Oregon been, I guess, out of compliance for so long? Like, why aren't all 50 states just on the same standard, and why are some playing catch-up at this point? Yeah, that's a very good question, because this dates back to 2005, when Congress passed what's known as the Real ID Act, and that is a follow-on from the 2001 terrorist attacks when some of the uh, terrorists in the 9-11 attacks used fake uh, licenses to learn how to fly. So the federal government's been harping on this for a while on the states to improve their document verification, to scan everything somebody brings in to the DMV when they apply for a license and save that information on a server forever, make those photos that they take of us digital. Um, that was considered by states, many states, probably half the states in the US at one time as an unfunded mandate. So they dragged their feet, in Washington, Oregon among them. Over time, a lot of the things the federal government wanted, states came around to saying, yeah, that's a good idea anyway, and we'll do it. And it hasn't become that big of a burden now in recent years. And the federal government gave our states many extensions over the years, but now they're saying this October 2020 date, that's a hard deadline. We're not gonna give you any more chances to kick the can down the road. You can see all of Tom's reporting on these and other topics at nwpb.org. Thank you for joining us here in the Unique Northwest.